Tensions between the U.S. and China have companies looking elsewhere for production facilities. Who's benefiting the most? Our Seema Modi's here at Post 9 with a look at that. Morning, Seema. Good morning. The ongoing issues in China really leading to this reshoring boom that we're seeing in Mexico, and it's finally showing up in the data. It's being led by the automotive industry. Tesla setting up a $15 billion gigafactory. General Motors, Ford building vehicles there. Cummins with heavy-duty trucks. More capital flowing into Mexico is fueling cross-border shipments, freight transportation companies. Company RXO says volumes have grown about 30 percent year over year. And one of the benefits of doing business there is lower costs. Manufacturing labor is cheaper than in China. And it's been that way for more than eight years, according to Strategis. Mexico's government has also been pitching companies on a new corridor that would rival the Panama Canal, seen as one way to accelerate trade with the U.S. and bring more business to southern states. Crime, though, specifically cargo theft, remains a key risk for foreign companies. Experts also point to the country political backdrop with a presidential election coming up next year. So far, that's not impacting market sentiment. The iShares Mexico ETF outperforming other emerging markets up about 21 percent this year. And the currency, the peso, has been strong as well. As you've been you've been wondering about this theme and asking the analysts about whether the, the production shifts. I mean, it's just mm. if you're going to do it at home, right, it's going to cost you. But are you are you going to pay up for what you're ostensibly getting in return. Right. That is reliability, American workers, more control. Right. And the ge geographical proximity to the U.S. cannot be overstated when it comes to a country like Mexico. And, and it's not just the automotive industry. We've seen a number of industrials, including John Deere earlier this summer, uh, moving a specific plant from Iowa to Mexico because of a tight U.S. labor market. We're watching this UAW strike. We'll see if that, uh, how that plays into the reshoring efforts for that industry as well. And by the way, private equity and venture capital, we've seen a surge in investment in Mexico this year as they try to play a bigger role in logistics and infrastructure. Boy, it would be a political problem, though, if, they, if these strikes, that, like the union strikes, lead to workers leaving the U.S. Three and weeks putting ago, jobs at risk. On that note, three weeks ago, the UAW president did say that Stellantis is threatening to move production to Mexico. So we'll see how the story plays out.